Okay, so first two cards I have, Temperance and the Reverse, and the Eight of Wands. So there was an imbalance. Something is out of whack. Something needs to be balanced out. Some sort of swift action or communication is going to come with regarding a King of Pentacles. <clears throat> and helping clean up a betrayal. Looks like there's a cycle ending of imbalance. So something is being balanced out at this time. A cycle is ending so a new cycle can begin. <clears throat> or a cycle needs to be closed out to bring balance back to your life or your situation. This King of Pentacles could be someone who, you know, is fairly well off, good with managing money. Could be a business owner. Could have to do with um, someone working together with you on a business deal. Um, some sort of work situation working with you there was a secret that was being kept hidden <clears throat> excuse me about a love offer that was not presented or an unsuccessful love offer with ace of cups in the reverse so there was some sort of imbalance that was created regarding a love situation that did not pan out didn't work out here um and there was some sort of secret about why that was someone could be in poverty so maybe you're in poverty, you could be the king of pentacles, however the situation is going. Um, somebody could have betrayed you because of money, or maybe because you didn't have money. Maybe someone didn't want to work with you. This king of pentacles might not have wanted to work with you um, and did something kind of shady or sneaky uh, because maybe they didn't think you had the money to pay. But someone wants to come to union with you. So there could be uh, a financial difference. <clears throat> Excuse me. As far as like economics, finances, status within a community, um, you know, you have the wealthy masculine energy and then you have the page of pentacles. So someone could be concerned about money. Um, someone could think that maybe uh, you're like a gold digger or something because maybe you don't have a lot and they do. Yeah, there was a heartbreaking situation when somebody didn't give you a gift or, or reach out to you or help you out in some sort of way. Whatever union this is or a partnership, it's going to help set you free from a negative situation. You may have been feeling trapped or bound or stuck. Somebody else could have been bound or trapped and stuck in their head like a mental prison. How to proceed forward. Uh, maybe they got stuck with like a gold digger in the past. Yeah. Someone was pissed off. They were all in their emotions and their feelings here regarding a risky commitment. So... There was some sort of betrayal that this person wants to clean up. This King of Pentacles could want to help clean up this betrayal. They could have been the one that betrayed you by not helping you or offering you love or compassion due to circumstances or finances. So they could have been dealing with somebody. So maybe they couldn't come towards you because they had somebody they were dealing with and they, were, they needed to close out a cycle with an unsuccessful relationship before they could come towards you. There was some sort of imbalance and barriers that was stopping this person, but something is being laid to rest that came out sideways. Something is being laid to rest. Friend, family member, somebody close to you could be significant. So this could be somebody you already know, <clears throat> or it could be them laying something to rest with this karmic situation that they're trapped in. Because they want to have a death, a rebirth, a transformation. Someone was meeting up with somebody secretly. So someone could have been traveling towards someone who they thought was a gift. Which was a high priestess. Which could be the divine feminine here. But there were some sort of illusions about why this person was traveling towards the high priestess. Maybe they presented themselves or acted as if they were presenting them with a love offer. But they really weren't. Maybe they couldn't because they were connected to somebody else or attached to somebody else there's definitely a meeting a meetup and traveling and movement so this person took a journey to meet up with someone with a high priestess <clears throat> but they may not have valued this high priestess as a treasure as well so they could have seen them as a treasure but they didn't really value them like they they knew they're you know that they were valuable but they didn't um they took them for granted 
justice is going to be restored here for someone. Something, it, once again, has to be balanced out. There's an imbalance with temperance. There's something out of balance. And something needs to be balanced out with Libra energy, justice. The scales need to be set straight regarding a situation. You may not be on the same page as somebody else. Maybe it's because they are attached. Someone was pissed off about a risky situation or risk, risky commitment. And it, it could be that if you were in a third party situation, if this person put you in a third party because they were trapped in this marriage or situation that they have to be trapped in, um, you know, whoever they're attached to could have found out about this. And so that could have caused an imbalance as well. start right now <clears throat> there's an emperor who could be in despair or emperor and his family over a possible separation or whatever connection this is the risky commitment could be with the high priestess so there could be something um that you know other people might not like they may not like this connection there's something that would be considered like taboo or unorthodox or just maybe someone's family doesn't um, agree with this connection. Maybe they don't like the person or, um, you know, like the wrong side of the tracks kind of things. There was a barrier here regarding this commitment or this risky, risky situation, risky relationship or situationship, whatever you want to call it. There was some sort of barrier that was placed, possibly travel restrictions. There's the ten, there's the ten of pentacles here and a ten of swords. So someone's walking away. There's going to be a permanent ending here. Someone's choosing to end something, and focus on their final, their family stability, their financial security. So this person could have betrayed. This king of pentacles could have betrayed a high priestess because they were attached to somebody else. And so there could be a permanent ending here coming to this situation because someone is choosing to stay in the situation that they felt like they were trapped in because they're concerned about building something or they've already built something with someone else, you know, built something with somebody else and they don't want to lose what they've built. And that seems to be a barrier here. So they don't want to walk away from what they have Someone could be doing fairly well for themselves or is going to be doing well for themselves. Eight of Pentacles here. Someone's hard work is going to pay off financially for them as far as um, somebody possibly wanting to work with them. Or just their work is going well or their gifts or talents are bringing them some sort of money. So this could be a permanent ending. Yeah, there's an unsuccessful relationship here. So whatever situation is going on, there's going to be an ending due to some barriers because I feel like this masculine is not going to leave the situation he's in, even though he may have created illusions about feeling trapped in a situation. I feel like he's going to possibly end this um, situation with a third party, which would be the high priestess. And this high priestess is going to focus on their money, their work, and their finances, and their hard work is going to pay off. Something is going to happen regarding this feminine energy I'm picking up on. There's an emotional situation, so there's people that are going to be very emotional about this, whether it's the king of pentacles and the high priestess. Yeah, somebody was emotionally unbalanced. So this masculine didn't have their emotions in check. <clears throat> they were going back and forth. They were struggling mentally with what they wanted to do. It's like they were trying to lead a double life. It's like, you, if you're the Queen of Cups, and I know that that hasn't come out yet, um, <clears throat> but say like you're the Divine Femme and you're like the Queen of Cups, with you, this person would have been like the King of Cups. Or they were trying to be a king of cups with you, but they're actually like a king of pentacles with a queen of pentacles, you know, like, and they don't want to lose that ten of pentacles. So they're concerned about losing their money and there's, there's stuck. There's a barrier here. So something could be stuck or stagnant regarding your work and you're trying to get a breakthrough, receive some sort of breakthrough. 
So you're working hard. Eventually your hard work's going to pay off, but there's barriers here in place for both of you regarding this situation and different things going on within your life. So somebody was not abundant. Somebody couldn't grow something with you with the Knight of Pentacles. This King of Cups. <clears throat> there was an unsuccessful partnership or relationship and it couldn't grow. It couldn't blossom. There's a lot of distractions going on. Um, like I said, there's a masculine here that could have been living like two separate lives or trying to live like two separate lives, but they ultimately didn't want... It, it's like going back and forth between like fantasy and reality kind of thing. Um... And they're going to have to let, like, the fantasy part go or something like that. You could have been, like, this person's fantasy person. Like, everything they'd hoped for and dreamed for, but they're attached to somebody else and they don't want to risk losing that. So, it could be the high priestess that's getting left out in the cold here. There's going to be a full new start, new beginning, a clean slate here. And a decision with a king of swords. So, if you're a divine femme, a decision might be made to just have a clean slate move forward with somebody else, a different masculine, because there's just too much drama surrounding the situation. Like, this masculine, this king of cups in the reverse slash king of pentacles, they're not going to leave whoever they're with. They don't want to risk losing that. And it's kind of a waste of your time. Like, may, it may have been fun for a minute. Maybe you knew you were a third party, maybe you didn't, because um, <clears throat> there were illusions surrounding the situation and what you were being told about the situation. So it looks like you may be making a decision to move forward with a King of Swords. There was a lack of rest regarding something, like there was a lot of stress, because there was a missing piece of the puzzle, a missing um, important piece of information, Ace of Wands in the reverse. Somebody wasn't trying to wake up. Somebody wasn't trying to hear that. It's like it, this masculine didn't want to hear the truth about what they were really doing. Like you may have even tried to call them out on it or like point things out to them about what they were not understanding. Like trying to get them to wake up and see the truth. But they didn't want to hear it. And so we have someone walking away because it's just... There's an emotional situation with the Five of Cups here and then the Eight of Cups here. Something just isn't worth a lack of rest, a lack of peace. And it could also be somebody has to walk away or did walk away because they couldn't rest or they were missing the piece of the puzzle about where this masculine was going when they were traveling, what they were doing. Um, so once again, it could have been the person they were attached to that um, had restless, sleepless nights, uneasy feelings because they were missing the piece of information about what this person was doing and why there were so many problems going on in this relationship. It's like they both kind of have checked out. And, you know, someone is not at peace. It's like they can't rest. And there's just too much conflict going on. Yeah, there was a message of concern about someone being sneaky and stealthy. And it could be the person that this King of Pentacles slash King of Cups is attached to. They could have found out that this masculine was being sneaky and shady and... <clears throat> Um, they had feelings, like they had an an inkling, like they, they knew something was up, but they might, they might not have been able to put their finger on it. Like they knew something was going on, but they may not have known to what extent something was going on, you know, like how far it went. Queen of Wands here. So there's a feminine energy. So you could be the Queen of Wands, which would have been the person this masculine was traveling to. Or you could be the feminine that's attached or married to this King of Pentacles that's leading a double life. So there was a tower moment because someone was not in their life's calling. Somebody could have lost a significant amount of money with the Nine of Pentacles. Something was not growing. Something was not abundant. This could be um, an ultimate ending, a separation within that marriage. Like somebody, somebody just couldn't grow. Like something was not manifesting within this relationship. And this caused a tower moment.
because there's a third party situation. Oh, so this person, this feminine, <clears throat> is trying to figure out why something isn't working with her and her spouse. And that's because there's a third party situation and an imbalance in a decision that this person is trying to make regarding the secret that they're going to find out. With the imbalance, the Two of Swords, the Moon card, and then traveling. So this Queen of Wands knows or is aware about a third party situation and there's a decision. She's at a crossroads about what to do regarding the secret that has been illuminated or brought to light about the traveling, about somebody traveling towards somebody else and trying to, you know, make something grow with someone else that was never going to get anywhere, you know, like a fling, I don't know if this masculine was acting like it was just a fling situation, <clears throat> but something was not able to grow and manifest with their situation because he was focusing his energies elsewhere. Meanwhile, while he was focusing his energies elsewhere, um, there's barriers in that situation because he was never intending on leaving this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he was traveling to do something. He could have even said he was traveling for work. <clears throat> so there's some sort of work situation. Especially if he's like the king of pentacles. Maybe he's helpful or travels for business. Something like that. He could have been traveling for work. Or said he was traveling for work. And she could have found out about what he was doing. Yeah, because there's a treasure. And there's a lot of talk and gossip. About someone manifesting a treasure or someone that sees another person as a treasure, a secret. Someone is secretly manifesting a treasure, and there's a lot of talk going on. Possibly even around these illusions regarding a Queen of Swords, which would be the Divine Femme, or a Divine Femme, who is going to make a decision to partner up with a King of Swords. There's a death and rebirth. There's a transformation coming regarding a housing situation, and someone is in despair because of a betrayal. So there was definitely a betrayal here of somebody traveling to do something. <clears throat> traveling and meeting up. I feel like this is masculine who is juggling two females. Someone's in despair regarding a housing situation. Someone's going to have to move. Someone's going to be getting a new home or having to move, leave from home. financial stability in the five of pentacles so someone's going to be in despair because they're concerned about their financial stability and being left out in the cold so someone here who could be in their page of pentacles and this could be the divine femme it could be you know somebody else whoever you are in this situation someone here is in their page of pentacles and there could be a situation of someone being in despair because they're getting left out in the cold and their financial stability has been affected Someone, someone's going to have to move or relocate. And there could be some gossip and rumors about this. So it's like this masculine was going towards, you know, this person who was possibly in the page of, you know, the page of pentacles. And, um, and so they were traveling for work or doing something regarding work. The magician here again. <clears throat> someone's manifesting though someone's manifesting moving on to calmer waters which i would assume if you're in despair over you know losing a home or having to move or relocate and getting left out in the cold you are manifesting a way out of this situation and money coming towards you some of those manifestations are going to come true because some sort of money or finances is going to help you move on to calmer waters smooth sailing a new beginning for the Queen of Wands here. And I could have had it backwards. You know, the Queen of Wands could be the Divine Femme. We could have two Divine Femmes here. There's, there's two. I don't feel like one's necessarily worse than the other. I mean... There's definitely a third party situation going on here. There's two feminines here that are in some sort of competition, whether they know it or not. But I don't feel like it's necessarily either one of their faults. 
One's the Queen of Swords and one is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Swords <clears throat> could be married to the King of Swords. There was someone who was not a good person. The star in the reverse. Someone was very evil and dark when it came to a situation. There's going to be some sort of communication that you can be expecting if you're the Queen of Wands. Somebody was hiding a dark secret. The moon in the reverse and the star. And it also could have been that somebody was hiding a secret about this high priestess, the star, who does have divine protection. Um, but it can also be that somebody was holding, um, keeping a secret with dark intentions, like dark malicious intent. Something was not growing. So whatever secret this was, it was not growing. Something was not manifesting. Like, this was a waste of time. And someone's going to end up injured here. And they're going to have a clean slate. And we have the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> so there could be two feminines here who's going to have a clean slate, a new beginning. So we have a financial imbalance that was here. Got a secret. Someone working really hard on their gifts and talents. The King of Wands. Maybe this King of Wands is really gifted and talented with his you-know-what. I don't know. Could be a leader or someone in a supervisor position. <clears throat> but they want to come into a Two of Cups situation. So this King of Wands wants to hook up with this Queen of Swords. There's a new beginning of partnership with this king, king of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Man, it looks like there's a couple different beginnings here, but it's like with different people. This is weird. Here we go again with this crazy ass bullshit. So there's a big transformation coming there's a change coming within the two of cups situation a transformation someone's hard work is gonna pay off though regarding a relationship someone's investing their time but it's like there's an injury like, someone is trying to manifest some sort of pain or hurt to somebody. Or you could be trying to manifest, but you're hurting and trying to heal. And you're going to have this clean slate. Like, if you're this Queen of Swords, this King of Wands wants to be with you. But once again, there's a financial imbalance here. Or maybe you just think that this is the case... If they're married or attached or something and their spouse finds out about this, like, their spouse could want to divorce them or separate them and have a clean slate with somebody else. Like the Queen of Wands. Like if the King of Wands is married to the Queen of Wands. Well, someone's definitely married here. I don't know why this keeps coming out. This third party situation stuff someone was not someone's wish fulfillment their desires did not come true they didn't get their deepest wishes and desires fulfilled <clears throat> or they were secretly fulfilling their wishes and desires you know what i'm saying like somebody was someone else's dream person but it's like they were keeping it a secret or yeah it was like a secret meeting secret meetup So they were celebrating, keeping this a secret. There was some sort of celebration, like happiness and contentment, 
knowing that there was a secret being kept. It was like the thrill of it. So there was like a thrill of keeping some sort of secret about their desires and wishes getting fulfilled. This was like um, an adrenaline rush or like dopamine rush for somebody. There's something very shocking that's going to happen or be exposed here regarding a masculine. We have an emperor in the reverse and an emperor in the upright like back to back. There's something shocking about the secret that this masculine is keeping. <clears throat> and it may be who this masculine is keeping as a secret. Or what they were doing that they were trying to keep a secret. And we have the Ace of Pentacles again. There's a new start here. There's a masculine that wants to have a new start. Or they're going to be forced to have a new start because of this tower moment. Something very... There was something very sad and depressed. Maybe this masculine was sad and depressed about having to hide this. But it also gave them a thrill. Like I said, there's someone here who was leading like a double life. And it was very sad for someone here. And it could have even been sad for them or they were depressed. And that's why they did it. Like they needed... um. They needed that boost. They could have looked at it as some some way like therapeutic. Like they could have tried to view something as just like a sex thing, but it was also their like wish fulfillment or their desires. It's like they were getting some sort of thrill out of it while they were doing it. But like they're also I feel like this is also like that King of Cups energy. Like this person has some emotions that need to be brought back into balance. There's an imbalance with this person's emotional. It's like they keep going back and forth. It's like they were trying to stop themselves from going into a depression. Maybe them and the person they're connected to were both sad and depressed about the distance in between the relationship if this is the married masculine. <clears throat> it's like someone was drifting further and further away. And there's something that's going to piss someone off. Someone's going to be pissed off. Time's up for an official person. So it could be the high priestess that's going to be pissed off. I don't know. Someone's, someone, an official person is going to be pissed off. Or someone's pissed off because of an official person. So it could be someone being pissed off to find out this masculine wants to hook up like or choose an official person or it's this official person that is married to this masculine and they're being done dirty someone went towards someone else and offered them some flowers and had a third party situation going and, th and this was a big secret there was a secret third party sitch someone's pissed about this Okay, so someone's worried about what's going to happen to their family, their family stability. So it could be this feminine spouse that's concerned about what's going to happen now in their family. Like, they're pissed off, they're hurt, they're trying to figure out what to do now, how to proceed. Like, they don't want to lose everything they've worked for either. I feel like neither one of these two imagined um, splitting up. Or having an unstable home, maybe because up until this point, everything was good in their relationship. Until it wasn't. And now it's like they're treading on new territory and breaking new ground. And tr and having like these... I heard do-overs, I don't know. But with these new starts... I don't know. Like, the, there's something really weird about this new start. Because there was something that didn't bring someone luck like it it caused chaos within their family when this masculine was being compassionate to somebody else it was bringing bad luck you know like it was bound to come out there's something that's bound to come out regarding this situation someone wants to give someone a gift because they see them as a ten of cups with an official person, and they want to be loyal to this person, and somebody did not go through a transformation. It could have also been that somebody had a third-party situation with some between somebody who is older and younger. Like, somebody didn't want something to change. Something wasn't going to change. 
maybe this masculine was not going to walk away from this third party situation. Maybe in fact it was the opposite. Maybe he wanted to gift this person something and this feminine is trying to figure out what the hell's going on here. Like, why is this person being so generous to this person? Maybe you all three know each other. But as long as the situation was being hidden or kept a secret, it was bringing, like, bad luck and bad karma or something. But there's someone here who does want to give a gift, offer something, or give, you know, their wand to an official person. They want to be loyal. But you also have to remember and think about what they say. If they'll do it with you, they'll do it to you kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So how loyal is this person going to be? Because someone was a liar. Someone was lying. So, you know. What's the time frame on that loyalty? How long were they loyal to this person before they get, you know, did what they did to them? Because <clears throat> somebody was not honest. Someone's showing their ass. So someone was wearing a disguise. They were hiding something. When they came back, they didn't care about the consequences when they came back to do something again. It's like, do I look like I care? So it's like, if there were conflict, if there was a disagreement, if there was a situation where, like, <clears throat> the third party was like, no, I don't want to do this, like, um... I don't know, this person came back and lied about something, like they were wearing a disguise about what they were doing, they were hiding their true intentions or their personality, and someone's showing their ass and acting like they're going to work, I've got work on my face, like I'm busy working, I'm doing this, that, and the other, and that's not the case. Diet is die with a T, there's an ending here to someone like continually going back to doing something, like someone's running out of excuses because someone was pissed off, and then we have two here people here, two people here, who are complete opposites of each other, solar powered and caffeine powered. So there's definitely like a, com a, a complete difference here. So there could be an age difference between you and whoever else they're dealing with, whether you're the wife or the third party situation. Um, or somebody is work like they're doing the opposite of what they're saying they're doing. Like someone says they're working, they're showing their ass. But they're working and doing something like a completely different. It's like when it when they're at home, they're they're doing like husbandy things. But then when they leave the house and they're at work, it's like they're single. You know what I'm saying? Like that could be why they're going back and forth between like um, the King of Wands energy and you know the King of Swords energy, like. person can be very draining energetically like they want you for your energy <clears throat> maybe you have, you're a good energy source for this person because they could have that vampire energy about them they come across as like cold-hearted and emotional they're trying not to let emotions get in the way but yeah then why would this king of wands like i don't know there's a king of wands maybe the queen of swords has got her own situation going on because she knows what this masculine is doing because something was foiled someone's pissed because their plans got foiled someone who was wearing a disguise and hiding something so they were planning something maybe a work trip or something and some something got um foiled because someone was pissed off and annoyed so they were celebrating like getting to take this little trip journey having this little excursion and something was foiled regarding this someone has their hand out and they're sitting there scratching their butt. 
someone could be under the influence or feels like love drunk or something. So someone's got their hand out, they're scratching their ass, they're feeling love drunk. So th this could be like that vampire energy, like that King of Swords energy. Like It's like somebody's wanting what you have and they're trying to figure out how to get it. And they're like so love drunk and possibly obsessed and addicted to you. <clears throat> but something was stopped dead in its tracks because somebody was not a superhero. This person is like showing their ass. Someone's going crazy and someone's pissed off. So someone went crazy because something was stopped dead in their tracks or this person was stopped in their tracks. So it's like if somebody tried to stop this person from coming and getting what they wanted, like say their spouse was like, well, you need to be at home today. I need you here. I need to do this. Like this person's going to throw a tantrum because something got screwed up for them. <clears throat> They're really... Um, Someone's going to lose their shit. Someone's going to snap. There could be some breaking of things. Um, it could be someone just losing their mind because they can't get what they want. Like, someone's very, acting very childish in this situation. And I don't necessarily know if it's um, the masculine or the woman, but I also feel like it's the masculine who's going crazy and losing their shit because, like, they can't do something. Like, something is being stopped and put on hold. And they have this addiction, like, they have this, um, I don't know. They're leading, like, this person's literally leading, like, two separate lives. And someone's pissed off because this little superhero showing their ass on both sides of the coin. Like, playing both si both of these women. Like, he feels like he has the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? Like, he feels like he's got his cake and he can eat it too, but there's something. That tower moment's gonna hit, though. <clears throat> Tower home, it's still gonna hit. Some because somebody had to cancel their plans. So somebody's plans got canceled. They couldn't travel, they couldn't do something, they couldn't go to, you know, the other person. Um, they lied about being in a relationship, so they could have lied about being single, uh, about ending a relationship or partnership. Um, a good witch or a light worker is significant here. There's definitely a high priestess energy here, and someone's frazzled. So there could be a good witch or, um, who is frazzled or someone is frazzled about this good witch or light worker because the plans had to get canceled. Someone's sibling. Why does this keep coming out? Someone's sibling <clears throat> is significant your brother or sister brother-in-law sister-in-law whether it's you know stepbrother stepsister whatever someone was falsely arrested <clears throat> so someone tried to cancel someone's plans or someone's plans got canceled because of some sort of family issue somebody could have been arrested or was set up to get arrested somebody was trying to, to get someone arrested so it's like there's a lot of family drama so it's like if this masculine couldn't travel towards who they wanted to travel towards because of some sort of family drama they're really not happy about this. Like, they're going to lose their shit because something is all in divine timing. Relax, it'll be over soon because this tower moment is going to hit. But there's some sort of family drama or issues that it, it's like, okay, I have to stay home and deal with this shit, like that kind of thing, and they're pissed off. You can only wear a mask for so long before it slips off. I mean, I'm sorry, that's just how it is. Someone's definitely guilty, and a lot of people are going to be pissed off. Someone blames you, because they went and caught an incurable STD. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so someone's going to be blaming someone for an incurable STD. This could be in the form of, like, HIV, herpes, whatever. Something that's going to stick around for a while. Yeah, my wife and I are very happy. So someone puts on a front or a show, like, their wife and them are very happy. But there's a betrayal here, and they were covering up illegal activity. So um, if somebody was out here spreading an incurable STD, um, you know, that's not a good thing. It's like, my wife and I are very happy, but I feel butterflies near you. So it's like, this person has no intention of leaving this marriage. But they enjoy the thrill of hooking up with this third party. And this third party just may happen to be a high priestess or a divine femme here. And I feel like their spouse, um, you know, isn't a bad person per se either. Like, 
They they both could literally be divine femmes. Someone needs to be honest with themselves about what they want and what they intend to do. Because someone wants to be happy somewhere else. And somebody just wants the best of both worlds. And there's someone here who's going to, like, get tired of the bullshit and move on. Because someone was not divine, they were evil, someone was not acting their age. There's a father or son here, and children are involved, so... You know, there's a father or son situation. I said there's some sort of family drama here, and there's some sort of children involved. Um, so this is a father figure within a family, and some sort of, you know, situation with their children is significant. Someone doesn't know they're being watched. That came out sideways. Someone could be watching their father do this, um, or their son do this to someone else. Someone's hiding their true personality. Someone's watching someone else hide who they really are. Like, there's there's a child here that could be watching their father live a completely double life. Like, they could know about this or be watching them. And someone doesn't know about it. And this person's acting childish. And um, I feel like they're going to get caught. Someone's going to get caught doing something. And it's going to bring forth that tower moment. All because somebody was frisky horny they they acted alone so it's like they took it upon themselves to do something based on selfish needs and wants you know and now someone feels like they're being ignored or forgotten which would make sense um something was a matter of days the truth will shock you about how guilty someone is so you know somebody a father or son figure could be finding out some shocking news about whatever someone did within the last few days that they were um you know, and it could be within the next few days to come, you know, past, present, or future. But there's there's something here that a family member is going to find out about. <clears throat> um, it, I, hmm. uh, okay, so this is a messed up situation. A sibling could be finding out that... Like, if this is a marriage of, like, convenience or, like, this is, like, a blended family, your sibling or you could be the one who knows about this. Like, somebody could be sleeping with, like, their step-parent or something like that. Like, there could have been an affair or something going on between, like, an adopted child or a stepchild and, a, you know, this father figure. And your sibling knows about it, or they're going to find out about it and expose this. Like, there's something significant here about siblings and a parental figure and a child being involved or children. Now, I don't know the age, if it's, like, within the age of consent or, um, you know, I, I don't know. Um, I feel like it could be consensual, but I, I'm not 100% sure on the age itself. Like, I don't know if this is adult children. I would assume so. I feel like I'm leaning more towards, like, an adult than, you know, an adult child than an actual child child. If there's a sibling here, um, could be your sibling. Maybe you view each other as, like, a brother or sister or something like that. Um, someone knows. Something was not the best thing since sliced bread. This was, something was not a good idea. Someone's going to be kicking the bucket here. Someone's going to be passing away. So someone who was not divine, someone who was very dark and evil, is going to be passing away. Scorpio. Someone could have Scorpio in their charts. Something didn't match. Something wasn't a fit. So there was a partnership with a Scorpio that was not a fit. It was not a match. <clears throat> Somebody's secrets being exposed. So there's a secret about this person that's going to kick the bucket. They could have caught an incurable STD. So that could be an ex that you were dealing with. Um, or hopefully it's not whoever is dealing with this in this situation. 
Fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So someone could be a Scorpio, Sag, Cusper, fire sign significant. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign. In the next 24 to 48 hours, you're going to find something out. You could be finding out that someone's going to kick the bucket, or you could be the person, if you're cross-watching, whatever. Whoever this person is who is not the best thing since sliced bread, this person's very shady, okay? Whoever this Scorpio slash Sag is, um, they're very shady. And they went broke. Go for broke. So something didn't fit. Them trying to make you go broke. If they were trying to drain you, if they were like an energy drainer or something like that, they were a dime a dozen, gold digging ass piece of shit, you know what I'm saying? So if you're a divine femme, you could be dealing with a gold digging ass piece of shit, X, and then somehow you got sucked into this third party situation. But there's a couple people here that's going to have a clean slate and a new beginning, but there's going to be a big transformation because somebody has to move, someone has to relocate, someone's going to have a new beginning and then get a new home someone thought they had an ace up their sleeve when it came to getting some sort of money like they put all their eggs in one basket when it came to this situation there's something significant about a gemini and a pisces and e f g and h on a monday air sign gemini libra aquarius so gemini is very strong here as well <clears throat> Beggars can't be choosers. Someone wants an equal give and take, and this is going to result in a positive outcome. Mm. So someone could be in a state of poverty, but there's going to be an equal give and take regarding a situation and a partnership. So this could be like a new partnership after the, another partnership is like closed out. These could be two of your exes, like... One of your exes could be like a Scorpio Sag, one of them could be like a Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then another person could be a, a Water Sign, Pisces, and then, you know, we have the, we have Air, we have like all the signs, <laughs> Fire, Air, Water, and Earth being called out here. There's something significant about June and a Sagittarius on a Friday. And there's something significant about springtime as well. So June, that could be, um, what is that, the Gemini? So that could be the Gemini. That could be significant. There could be something significant about a Gemini. And Sagittarius, communicating, meeting up. Someone's passionate, though. Someone is passionate about someone else, and they, they're going to make a move. Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's something significant about the springtime with an earth sign. And passion. Someone's very passionate here. About having a new start, a new beginning. Someone's trying to control another person under his or her thumb. Sagittarius. And they missed the boat. So someone is trying to control another person... This person was older, and they thought that they would beat the odds. And you're in your king or queen of wands energy, and someone's going to be getting arrested on a Monday. I think Monday's come out quite a bit here. Because you are one in a million. Someone's getting their wake-up call. Something could be happening in the morning about a Scorpio. So someone could be... Um, getting a knock on their, their door like on a Monday and they could be getting arrested this could be like a Scorpio <clears throat> something is too tough though a tough road to hoe there's something too hard here this person couldn't get something accomplished someone wants you to live under the same roof as them and they don't care love is blind so that someone doesn't care what other people think somebody wants to live under the same roof as you but there's a group here a fine kettle fish so there could be multiple people in the household or a multiple family. Like I said, this could be something significant like about a blended family is here. Like there's there's a group, you know, like a family, like a, a fine kettle of fish. There's more than one here. So there's like, there could be multiple people or multiple like generations living under the same roof. But this person loves you and they want they want you under the same roof as them and they want to be with you. There's rumors about this love, though. 
there's rumors, there's talk about someone being in love with another person and they were trying to hide it. An Aquarius could be significant. An Aquarius could be someone who lives, they live in the same house as. No guts, no glory with a Cancer here. So there's an Aquarius and Cancer. Someone's going to take the risk and try this situation. Something is going to happen in the nick of time because someone can't get you out of their head. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So for some of you, this is going to be a situation where there's going to be multiple people living under the same roof. And maybe that's because no one wants to give up their family stability, you know? Like, um, somebody may not want to get married and this may be like, you know, a group of people living together under the same roof as like a solution. This could be a situation of like two exes that, um, you know, you're dealing with. But somebody wants you to live under the same roof as them and someone has feelings for you and there is a new start, a new beginning with somebody here. Um, there's definitely some family secrets going on here. And someone knows the truth and there's going to be a big tower moment within a family because someone's sibling knows something and they're going to expose it and i feel like it's about a father figure it could be a father figure who's watching uh, your sibling move in on you know your spouse as well so i mean it could go the other way you could be significant person place for thing and Someone feels like they were thrown under the bus. You, you. So someone has a choice. Like, you, you. Can, can I just have both of you? That's the kind of energy I'm getting. Up. Someone's moving up and someone's being dragged down under. I. Someone's very selfish. They're in their ego. T, someone's using technology, someone could be watching on technology, someone could be finding something out regarding technology, someone's definitely being watched, I, I, someone's spying on, someone using technology, could be phone records, could be communication, could be hacked, like messages, something like that, someone's being spied on, R, someone's going to be receiving like a written letter, someone's going to be writing a letter, S. B. K. And L. And I will do two more. J. And D. Okay. I hope this helps. Have a good day. Oh, wait. U, U, P, D, N, J, two I's, T, K, R, S, B, and L. I hope this helps. Have a good day.